NLEX coach Yang Giao felt his team committed one too many mistakes down the stretch in a crucial loss to Moralco, a game the Road Warriors initially had in their fingertips, but let slip away. NLEX blew a 16-point lead in the fourth quarter after Moralco fought back and pounced on the error-prone Road Warriors behind Alan Durham and Baser Amir. It's really frustrating. It's a bad loss. It's not that they won the game, but we lost it, Giao told reporters after a 108-105 defeat on Sunday. Just too many turnovers in a short period of time especially happening in the endgame. Turnovers and I felt the bad calls conspired to turn a win into a loss, but we have to take some blame for it, we have to take some responsibility from it. Giao was on point as the Road Warriors turned the ball over eight times in the last five minutes of the game. I couldn't find a point guard in the end game who can carry the game for us. Every point guard I used the result was of turnover, and that's why it's really frustrating, he said. Late in the game, Giao went with Philip Panyamagan first, before turning to Mac Tallow, Kenneth Iolo and lastly, Wamit Youngson to end the game. The four, however, committed six turnovers combined in the last five minutes with Tiongson committing a pair of miscues in the last 41. Two seconds left. Oh, on the other hand, the Bolts' chief playmaker thrived in the pressure packed moments as Amair scored 17 of his 22 points in the fourth quarter, highlighted by the game tying three point play and game winning triple with 13. Six ticks to go. It also didn't help that import Aaron Fuller fouled out for NLEX with still 46. Two seconds left, while Durham came alive as the game grew weary for Moralco as the after a slow start. Durham, the reigning two time best import, unleashed 30 of his game high 36 points in the second half. Giao isn't the type of coach who makes excuses, but he admitted NLEX is sorely missing the absence of its star point guards Kiefer Ravina, suspension, and Kevin Alas, ACL, especially late in games. Of course we miss them. If we had Kevin or Kiefer in this game we would have won comfortably, but it's hard to think about something that isn't going to happen at this point. We miss them, but we know that's not gonna happen soon, so we just have to live with what he have. Dot fortunately for Giao and the Road Warriors, guard Alex Millari, who is out with a sprained ankle, is set to return next game. At 4-5 with still a couple of games left against Rain or Shine in Alaska, Giao still likes his team's chances of making the playoffs. Before the string of turnovers happened, we were in control of the game. We just have to look forward to the next game and win a couple more to get ourselves into the quarterfinals and see what happens after that, he said. We still have a good chance of making the quarterfinals as long as we are able to win our next games.